Hi everyone, welcome to Pediatrics by Dr. Anand. A beautiful day today to share some immense amount of knowledge. My name is Dr. Anand and today's topic of choice we're going to talk about is craniosynostosis. Yes, one of the most commonly asked questions, the topic is craniosynostosis. Before starting any segment, we always have a quote and the quote for today is believe in yourself. The quote for today is everything will make sense. The quote for today is study well, study positive and stay amazing. The topic for choice is craniosynostosis. Synostosis. Yes, exactly. The topic is craniosynostosis. To understand that, we must appreciate the normal sutures and the normal skull of a newborn baby. Very basic questions in a newborn baby's skull, as you can see over here. How many fontanelle and how many sutures do we have? Remember, we have six fontanelle and we have four sutures. The six fontanelle are, as you can appreciate, this beautiful skull. We have the anterior fontanelle, posterior fontanelle, and we have the pair of sphenoid and mass fontanelle so total we have six fontanelle and most importantly how many sutures we have we have four sutures the four sutures are very importantly this is the skull so we have something known as in the front we have metopic suture then coronal suture then sagittal suture and lambdoid suture very important we have metopic suture coronal sagittal and lambdoid these are the four sutures we have and the topic of choice is craniosynostosis cranio means skull and synostosis Synostosis means premature fusion of the sutures. Now, as you can appreciate over here, this is the metopic suture. So, exam entrance question number one. Premature fusion of the metopic suture causes what? It causes an abnormality and that is known as trigonocephaly. Photographic memory plays a very important role. So, this is known as trigonocephaly. Please remember, premature fusion of the metopic suture causes trigonocephaly. Premature fusion of the coronal suture causes brachycephaly. Brachy means small and cephaly means head. And very importantly, premature fusion of the sagittal suture causes dolicocephaly, which is also known as scaphocephaly. How will I remember? S for sagittal, S for scapho. So these are the important craniosynostoses. Must appreciate for the exam purpose. And last but not the least, very importantly, premature fusion of the lambdoid suture. Lambdoid suture, it causes plagiocephaly. So, metopic suture, coronal, sagittal, and lambdoid. And please remember trigonocephaly, brachycephaly, dolicor, scaphocephaly, and last but not the least, plagiocephaly. These are the important points must appreciate for the exam purpose craniosynostosis. Knowledge is a beautiful process. Keep enjoying and keep loving yourself. And before leaving, I have a question for you guys. What do you think? When does anterior fontanelle close? The question for you is when does anterior fontanelle close? put your answer in the comment section